Hey there guys, it's Sam here. Welcome to episode 3 of Welcome to the dot dot dot. Today we will be looking at the fabulous and beautiful IS-3. Now, first of all, the bio. It's a fantastic vehicle. Let's not pull any punches here, folks. It's also Russian, it's a heavy, and what is unique about the IS-3? Well, in fact, it is the master race. It has good damage, good armor, and good speed. It is so good in all these categories that it's actually unique. This tank in a nutshell. Tier 8.5. It is totally imbalanced in a tier 8 match. In a tier 9 match, it's slightly underpowered. We give it a rating of tier 8.5. Now, should you buy it? You can probably guess the answer for that already. Always. Absolutely always, if you have a slot in your garage, buy an IS-3, pub it, play it in team battles, play it in strongholds, whatever it is. Why should you buy it? Good speed, phenomenal alpha, best points, of course, again, everything. It's just good at everything. Competitors in tier T32, let's hear those USA chants. Unfortunately, the T32 compared to the IS-3 has poor damage, it's tall and wide, and is actually the worst heavy in tier 8, except maybe the KB-4. Hard argument there. Now also compared to the Tiger II, another heavy in tier. The Tiger II does have more HP, has a more accurate gun, but is slow as mud and in World of Tanks as the shells generally will fly towards the center. Accuracy tends to be not quite as useful as Alpha and the IS-3 actually gets 70 more Alpha than the Tiger II. Analysis. Firepower. Oops. Let's back that up. Firepower is phenomenal. It's 390 on a great reload. It's actually OP. Mobility, good in a straight line, livable turning. Usability, easy to use with a giant skill ceiling. And what I mean by that is because the tank is tier 8.5, if you use the IS-3 properly, you will be able to dominate every other tank in tier 8. The only tank, or tanks I should say, that may be an exception will be either Artie or 5100 because the 5100 can clip you out and already because well you can't fight back the X factor of this tank is everything again we're seeing a pattern it is so good gun turret armor this is Sparta should be your cry every time you load into a battle now second to last recommended stat 1600 DPG is quite doable it's actually just over four penning shots with your fantastic alpha 1.5 damage dealt to damage received, and this dovetails with our last point quite nicely. 1k blocked. This is going to be an average, guys. If you go into a game and you block 5k, that's great. And then you go into another game and you block 0, well, maybe that's great too. But generally speaking, you want to be blocking at least 1,000 damage a game. This isn't even hard. Generally speaking, point your front at someone, let them bounce, problem solved. And lastly, what is the big picture for the Russian tree for the IS-3? Now, here's what we're looking at. Right down here, and it's hard to tell because the tree is absolutely massive. The initial tanks are actually quite good. The tiers 1 through 4, KV-1, no exception. 2 and 50, also good, although has fallen out of favor a little bit. And then we move forward, the T-150, the IS, the IS-3. Every single tank in this line except the MS-1. Not terrible, but not great. But every other tank in this line is actually great in tier, and that includes the IS-3, which is followed up by a bit of a dud, well, what used to be the IS-8, and then, of course, we end with the IS-7, which is strong, but not particularly amazing. So if you play the Russian line, play to 8, and then stop. Or if you really want to, keep going. But generally speaking, Play to eight, have a good time with it. That's it for this tank introduction video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was also a little bit fun. Let me know what your thoughts were on the Sparta and USA chants in the comments, as well as letting me know what tank you want me to cover next. Happy tanking, guys.